Hi everybody, just a quick video about the way that you can start and stop your Nitrido Daisy private server Xbox or PlayStation. In other words, how you can create a, uh, a restart routine, um, a reset routine, um, uh, so that the chances of your server crashing and staying crashed, staying offline, become a lot less. So what you want to do is go to Nitrido, <coughs> excuse me, log in, go to your services, Click on the little settings icon next to the server that you want to work on. That will take you over to your dashboard. And then you want to go down to automated tasks here on the bottom left hand corner. And what you'll see on my server is already um, we've got automatic restarts. Now I have my Daisy private servers to restart every six hours. So midnight, six o'clock, 12 o'clock, six o'clock in the in the evening and then um, yeah and that's it so and I found that the cases of the server crashing and not restarting have reduced dramatically I used to get messages fairly regularly um, where people would say oh the server's crashed it hasn't started again and I'd have to get open up my my app and then uh, then fire it up um, but this way it, it, it's things seem to run fairly smoothly obviously the downside of this is that every six hours the server does restart you know and people get kicked and they have to log on again also a downside that people probably don't talk about very often is that every time a server restarts there's a chance that something might glitch out um uh, say like say you built a car and we all know that cars have a good opportunity of glitching and disappearing um, in Daisy at the moment, and obviously, the more that the server's restarting, the more chances are that are happening. If if the server only restarts once a day, um, then if it restarts four times a day, that's four times as four times the chance that 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 could happen. So, you know, there's pluses and minuses, but I think the advantage of having a stable server is is more than more than willing. So, your your um, this they may well just have one of these on it um, and feel free to, to remove it but if you want to add anything it's dead easy there's only one um, one action we're interested in which is restart the game server and all you do is at the top here it's just telling you the time interval that should happen so what, what you would do is you would just say well okay let's say at you, you want it to, to restart at say half past ten in the morning so at minute 10 at time 10 obviously every day every month we want it to happen and then you just say uh, restart the game server we're not going to bother with the message just say add and then down the bottom you'll see at uh, 10 past 10 every day my server is going to restart let's say you wanted one at um, half past 2 in the afternoon so that would be the minute would be 30 um, the hour would be 1400 for two o'clock every day yep every month every day actually to restart the game server add that one as you can see now down the bottom <coughs> oh sorry I do apologize you can only have five tasks so that would be it but yeah you know, that's more than enough restart so what we'll do is let me remove that one that one that's 10 past 10 and let's put in so that example was half past two in the afternoon wasn't it so if we go down here and we say uh, minute 30 hour 1400 two o'clock every day restart the game server add that then down the bottom there we go 14 30 hours or 2 30 p.m the server's going to restart but I'll, let me take that off because I don't want to annoy my uh, my survivors on our server and that's it and that's how you install a regular uh, automatic restart routine on your, on your Nitrado private uh, Daisy Xbox or PlayStation um, server now actually speaking of Xbox you don't have to do this on the Xbox app on your Xbox because it is a bit awkward trying to use your controller do that sort of thing by all means log in using your account details to Nitrado on the um, on your laptop or download the Nitrido app and, and do it from there but I find doing it on my laptop on my PC is the easiest because obviously you've got some typing to do and some clicking to do but there we go so hopefully that's helpful remember if you've got any other questions about your Nitrado servers uh, DayZ, Xbox, PS4 just let me know thank you very much and I'll see you again soon